Hey guys, Happy Trees here. In today's video, I wanted to check out the new pistol that just came out in the weekly store, the Coco 45. Let me read the description here. It's it's a different kind of weapon. Silenced pistol with projectiles that bounce off of walls and pass through enemies. So it pierces and it the projectiles just bounce around. It's it's really awesome. It costs 1680 gold, pretty standard. But the best thing about this weapon is it's a pistol, of course. But it has a range of 5,000. This is, that's the, the longest range pistol in the game. There's some assault rifles with that. Uh, the Tiger and the Wraith. They both have 5,000. I think that might be 5,100. But still, really long range for a pistol. Most of the pistols are like 3,500. Some of them are shorter. So, this is really good. Really, really good. And also the magazine size is a little bit short, so... But that's okay, just put reload speed on it, you'll be alright. And the fire rate, relatively fast, 5.0. The only downside to this is, it's a semi-automatic, so you're just going to have to click a whole lot. Which isn't my thing, but it's pretty standard with pistols, so, oh well. So here's mine. Uh, the only thing I switched up on it was the energy damage. I put this on it, I had fire damage on it. I'd much rather have energy, do a decent amount of damage to all the elementals. It has affliction damage on it, which is awesome. I love that. I'm sure everybody's will come with that. I'd rather do a little bit of damage rather than a snare or something. And this probably needs to be changed, that crit rating. Let's see if we can change that. No! So, they've been switching stuff up on us. Uh, this doesn't have the affliction damage to... Does this affliction... No! No bonus affliction damage. So that's interesting. Okay. Whatever, that's fine. Okay, so for my loadout, I'm going to be using Beetle Jess. She's a really good uh, pistol damage hero. And I'm also going to be using Field Agent Rio for increased crit rating with pistols. And this guy is just extra time on my teddy. I won't be using my teddy. Uh, but yes, to, to start it out, we'll just show this. It's a little, you see that? It's a little marshmallow that it shoots out, which is really cool. You can see how it bounces off stuff. We'll just go here, do like a little bank shot thing. BAM! This is really awesome. Maybe we can make it hit the car too. There we go. We got a three, four hitter. Boop, 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 boop. That's awesome, right? Bam, 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 bam. Holy sp uh. <laughs> Let's try that again. Boop! Look at that go! So yeah, if you can be in like a trap tunnel or something with a bunch of husks in it. Oh man, that thing just bounces around and does a ton of damage. Okay, so here we go. We got a bunch of them in a line right here. We'll just see uh, how much this thing pierces. Pretty good. It's just, you can see the damage. It's just going straight through all of them. That is really good. If you can get a trap tunnel lined up, it's just going to kill. Oh, I was hoping they'd all go down here. Oh, well. But you can see it just bounces off of everywhere. It's so cool. I love this weapon. And I think the biggest thing about this weapon is... It has 5,000 range on it, which is really good. That's like the far range on some of the assault rifles. So that's pretty crazy to get that in a pistol. It's really good. All right, so here we go. This will be perfect. We got a nice little cave with a bunch of people inside of it. Uh, let's see what these bullets do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is crazy. Look at this bouncing around. That's awesome. Oh boy, taking a lot of damage. Okay, I died. Well, the gun's pretty good. Don't don't pay attention to that. So here we got a shielder. Let's see if it pierces the shield. And no, it doesn't. Well, that's unfortunate. What? That kind of sucks. Oh well. So it doesn't pierce shields. Okay. All right, so here we go. We got a couple mist monsters, a blaster, and a taker. Boop! And, and the little guy hitting us. Okay, so let's see how many shots it takes. I should have reloaded before I started this. Oh, well. Not bad. That wasn't bad at all. Get out of the way. And here we go. Full clip. So yeah, okay, the damage isn't that bad. The damage is a little light compared to some of the other pistols, but it has a really long range on it. I think that's the main reason why. 
the longer the range on weapons, typically the less damage they do. Um, but yeah, and also it has the really cool, this thing, <laughs> the bounce everywhere thing. That is really awesome. All right, so here we go. We got a shielder. Let's see if it pierces. And is it? I think it is. No, it's not. Never mind. I lied. It does not sh pierce the shielders or the, uh, the shielders or the right husk. That's a right husk, not a shielder. Anyhow. Okay. All right, here we go. We got a smasher here. He has a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Let's see how many shots it takes to take him out. And we'll just start right here because he's against the thing. So should be taking like double shots right here. Going through him and then bouncing off the wall. Oh, that's nice. That is so nice. <clears throat> I wasn't paying attention to how many clips that was, but probably a lot. This gun doesn't do crazy damage, and there's only uh, eight bullets in the clip, so. And now we got this stupid guy back again. Whoop. Okay, let's hit him. Maybe we get the wall. Bounce it. Through the wall, back through him. Oh, look at all that damage. Ooh. That's pretty good, man. That's really good. Bounce it off the ground. We can bounce it through here. Yeah, it's just kind of unfortunate that it doesn't pierce the shielders or the bright husk. That that kind of sucks. So yeah, you can see there, it's uh, you know what it's not a huge damage weapon. But if you get a bunch of the <clears throat> the smaller husks just lined up, coming down a trap tunnel or something, or just in a line anywhere, this thing does crazy damage just because it pierces through all of them. All right, so that was the Coco 45. I love it. I think it's a great weapon. It's, it's different. I love how the projectiles or the bullets just bounce off the walls and you can hit a bunch of husks. If you can get them in like a, a trap tunnel or, or just lined up in a straight line, it thing does so much damage, man. There's a lot of damage. The only thing about it is uh, you might think the damage seems a little low, but it makes sense, especially for the range. Typically, the longer the range, the less damage it does. And the longer the range it has, the, the more that bullet will bounce around you know so so that makes it nice but yeah I, I really like it I guess some of the downsides are number one for me it's a semi-automatic so you have to click the button every time you shoot which I really don't enjoy and this weapon shoots fairly fast so that's a lot of clicking man that's so that's probably the biggest downfall for it to it for me you know I, I just don't like clicking the button that much but oh well uh, but yeah and and the magazine size is pretty short, so reload speed. I wonder if there's another reload speed in here. I probably wouldn't put two reload speeds on it, but definitely max that out as quick as possible because that did seem like an issue. Um, but yeah, other than that, really great weapon. I enjoy it. I'm going to be using it quite a bit. But yeah, that's it for the video today. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.